The Brody Knob was invented in 1936 by Gerald Thorpe in Wisconsin. Don't be this guy. Follow my lead. There's the exact part that I ordered from Amazon. It took approximately six or seven days to get it in the mail. Today I'm going to show you how to install a suicide knob or a wheel spinner on your car. If you uh, never drove a truck or a car or a tractor with a wheel spinner, some things you gotta be thoughtful of. One, when you put it on your steering wheel, if you sit close to the steering wheel, your clothes could get stuck on there. Two, some states have a law against wheel spinners. So you're gonna do this at your own will. I've driven trucks and I've driven tractors and I've driven yard horses, which is a tractor trailer that all it does is shift trucks, trailers back and forth and they all had them. I never had an issue with them. The only reason why I'm putting this on temporarily is because I'm having my shoulder replaced and I still need to get around and drive. So today I'm gonna show you how to pop this on. I got this from Amazon. I think it came out to like $23 ship. It's heavy, comes with all the tools. There's your spinner, Allen key, and it comes with three different sets of uh, bolts, depending on the thickness of your steering wheel. You crack it open, there's your spinner, there's your protective wrap that goes over the steering wheel, this pinches that into place, full of lint, it's no biggie, solid and it's heavy, that's what you're looking for. You're also looking for one that has two bolts and not the one that only has one, because you want this to bite down and lock onto that steering wheel, okay? So this one is one of the best ones that I've seen with the double bolts on each side. There's your hardware inside, four bolts, the Allen key. You got two bolts already sitting inside of here. Here's the funny thing. All the bolts are in the box and the bag is empty. Good job, Amazon. First thing you wanna do is take off your two bolts that come already mounted and open this up. To mount your spinner or a suicide knob, you're gonna take your rubber piece, you're gonna put it on the top of where you want it located. You're gonna take your spinner, put that over there. For this situation, I'm using the longer screws that came in the kit, which go up from in here. Like so, up, and you sandwich it in between. You're gonna do that on both sides, and you're gonna tighten them up top and bottom evenly with the key, the Allen key that came with it. So after you catch one, you're gonna squeeze it and pinch it and you're gonna catch the next bolt, barely catching them until you get both sides. Then you crank a little on this side and a little on this side. And you want this spinner to spin even with the steering wheel. So you don't want it cocked like that, you want it pretty much the same plane as your steering wheel. This piece is good to form. This protects the steering wheel so it doesn't leave a mark. And you tighten it up all the way. Like I said, a little on each side. The outside goes easier because if it spins freely, this one you gotta go baby steps because it hits the inside of the steering wheel. Go until it doesn't shift anymore and is locked down. You don't need to go crazy Superman strength on them. That's why the good thing about having the double bolts that go through and not the single one, because it locks it down firmly so you don't have no shifting of the knob. Give it a test spin. Make sure it goes around nice and smooth and to your liking. I put mine over here because it's more comfortable to hold here. You can have it here or you can have it up top, which makes it more uncomfortable because your hands gonna be up here all the time. 
that's what it looks like tightened down and torqued it's not loose it's not rotating and it's pinching the steering wheel okay hopefully this little uh rubber piece anti-slip piece protects the steering wheel from getting any marks on it because this is just a temporary thing like i said until i recover from my shoulder replacement okay there you have it that's how it looks in operation Same thing as all the other tractors and yard horses that I've used, okay? Make sure you be safe with this. Another thing to note is if you have a car with an airbag, <laughs> this could be very dangerous as well. If this bag blows out and knocks this thing into your face, you're gonna have issues. So that's another thing to think about. Keep that in mind as well. Like I said, this is temporarily until my shoulder heals. Questions, comments, leave them below. I get back to everybody. This, like I said, this is just a quick install, temporary install of a suicide knob or stand wheel spinner. Take care, fellas.